Hello, thank you for joining me on what is a wet and windy and actually pretty yucky day here in Cheshire. I want to talk about creativity. Good day to try and lift the spirits by being creative. In yesterday's post, I, I talked about Tilly and the fact that I've always had in this little pea brain of mine, tucked away at the back, the idea of writing a book about Tilly. And for many years, this book has already had a title. Um, and the title has always been Tilly the Wench. <laughs> but I think that maybe by rhyming association that latter word <laughs> wouldn't be a good choice these days. I will say no more. But I'm not into book writing at present. I haven't got enough get up and go umph. So I'm thinking smaller and I'm going to, when I've recorded this, spend as much of the day as possible being creative by writing little pieces well i'll actually be typing these to go in my granddaughter's memory boxes the brain is slightly foggy at present and if i just present myself with a blank screen or if I decided to handwrite things, a blank piece of paper, that screen, that paper becomes like a field of snow. It becomes enormous. And where do I start? What do I do? And as a teacher, I was very much aware of this with children. Right, give them a piece of paper, write me a story. And you could see for some of them that, uh, look came. That's how I feel. There'd be others who would but I always gave them ideas for beginning and the main aim is to break down that field of snow. So either piece of paper divided up. Yes, some people like to do it very um, methodically, symmetrically, but I much prefer a haphazard approach. Probably because that's my approach to life. But then I'll just start off by jotting down ideas in here. Once they're on the paper, I can develop them or ignore them, whichever I choose. And it gets them from being in here, so allows that space to free up to develop those ideas. Another way that we used to use was a good old spider's web. Put the initial idea in there and then what you're going to do about it and then break those down further and maybe one of those will actually break off to be an idea of its own for example if I'm telling a story of um, what one of my granddaughter's um, fathers did um, how he had stolen some tarts or a jam tart not stolen, he just helped himself to one and they were roasting hot, just come from the oven. But that was another story. And I might just put jam tart and then break that down and it might lead on to other things that he had done that I wanted to include. But it gets that out of my head. But if writing isn't something that you feel you could do, maybe start keeping a journal. And again, you can get journals that have broken down ideas in it rather than just pages of blank whiteness. Or have a go at crafting. And I'm a great believer in dipping my toe into things rather than going full belt to start something that I might not like. And for this, buying starter kits I've got one here. I hope the light's not reflecting too much. 
little cross stitch. Ideal for beginners. I've done cross stitch before. I've done tiny, tiny cross stitch. My eyes can't cope with that any longer. In fact, I can't see the individual crosses on the, the cross stitch pieces that I did previously. But then there's also marbling for the grand price of £4.99. I can have a go at marbling. Or the same thing, I can have a go at macrame. And I might find that I love both of those, love one of them, and will go on to develop that as a, an interest for the winter months ahead. But whatever you do, my lovely friend bought me this cushion some time ago. Go on, be bold, be brave, be you. That's the most important one, be you. Do whatever floats your boat. But if you can be creative, in whatever format that creation takes, it helps with your mental well-being and anything that helps with our mental well-being helps with our physical well-being as well and I might find that by the end of the day I've been lifted by doing some of my writing I might have reached the stage where my eyes are becoming a bit too tired so I might move on to try the marbling that I think won't be so demanding on my eyes or my spirits could have been lifted. I might don my waterproofs, grab my brolly and get out and have a blast of fresh air or not. But I'll be doing things. I won't be sitting thinking, ah, I've got to do this. I should do this. That first step is always the hardest. Try taking a first step and be creative. Let me know if you do. I'd be very interested. But whatever you're doing, take care. And thank you so much for joining me. And I'll go and get on with my writing. Bye for now. Speak to you soon. Bye.